Today, the wheel of decades is gonna build my team. Now, the rules here are simple. We've got the 2020s, the 2010s, the 2000s, the 1990s, the 1980s, and the 1940s to the 1970s. Whichever decade I land on, I must take a player that was drafted within that decade. For example, Joe Burrow was drafted in 2020, which means if I want Joe Burrow at quarterback, I would have had to have landed on 2020s. Patrick Mahomes was drafted in 2017, which means I would have had to have landed on 2010s. You guys get the idea. Let's hop in. Now, starting with my offensive line, I'm going to make my entire offensive line from whatever decade this is. And I'll do the same for each position group. All right, boys, the very first wheel spin. This is for my offensive line. The offensive line is going to be composed of 1990s players. So any player drafted in 1990 all the way through 1999. And this is so awesome because we can kick it off with literally one of the greatest offensive linemen of all time. Time, Larry Allen. Gold 99. He's the most expensive card actually in this entire game. Also, boys, I have insane news. So, Raid Shadow Legends, the incredible game that I've worked with for years, has premiered an animated limited series called Raid Call of the Arbiter. And you can watch it for free in game. So episode one of Call of the Arbiter is out right now. And new episodes come out every single Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern until July 20th. The animation is incredible. The show is so dope. And it just makes me love Raid more. This launch is going to add a ton of cool new stuff into Raid. So it's probably the most exciting time to jump into Raid Shadow Legends if you haven't started playing. So number one, everyone will get a chance to get Artac, one of the five new characters from the show, as a playable legendary champion just by logging into Raid for seven days between now and July 24th. And if you've watched my videos or streams, legendary champions are incredibly strong and very rare. So getting one like this is insane. And if you haven't started playing Raid yet, you can use my link in the top of the description or you can scan my QR code on screen. You'll get insane bonuses like an epic champion, Knight Errant, and other useful items to kickstart your game. By the way, my in-game name is Papa Meeg, so once you're in-game, come find me. Click that link in the top of the description and enjoy the rest of the video. Oh, I still need left tackle, left guard, center, and right tackle. Unfortunately, though, after the incredible Larry Allen, there's not a lot of depth from the 1990s, at least in the offensive line. Randall McDaniel was drafted in 1988, but he didn't first start for the Vikings till the 1990s, so I... Kind of got to get creative here. Otherwise, we won't have any, any players up there. At center, though, we do have an amazing option. Jeff Saturday. Jeff Saturday was drafted in 1999, which is perfect for us. <laughs> okay, this is awesome. There are no 1990s left tackles in the game, unfortunately. Now, I was going to go with Gary Zimmerman because he was 1984. He was pretty close, but I found a player even closer. For whatever reason, Madden put a Dwight Freeney left tackle. Tackle. What the hell? Into the game. And yes, you're thinking of the same Dwight Freeney who's actually an edge rusher. I don't know when he played left tackle or why this card exists, but drafted in 2002, that is pretty damn close. We do, however, get an amazing 97 overall right tackle, Willie Anderson. The right side of our line is insane. It's just the left side of our line where it gets weird. Here is the 1990s offensive line fully assembled with Jeff Saturday, Larry Allen, Willie Anderson, Randall McDaniel, and Dwight Freeney. Honestly, that's an amazing offensive line. I'm really happy with that. Next up, let's assemble our backfield. This will be my quarterback, my halfback, and my fullback. I really just don't want 40s to 70s. I would take any other decade for this. It's not 2020s. That's gonna be Mahomes. Oh, I gave this example in the intro. Let's go. Patrick Mahomes, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time already, and he's still playing. I happen to have him on my squad already because he's that good, but Patrick Mahomes drafted in 2017. That's a no-brainer for me. Now, 2010s halfbacks, I'm gonna have so many good options too. Personally, though, I think I'd like to take like a, a more OG, like closer to 2010, 2011 player. Because honestly, when I think of the 2010s, I think of Adrian Peterson. But Adrian Peterson was drafted in 2007. So like, he's not even in this game. So that analogy doesn't really matter. But I want like an OG 2010s halfback. 
Who's that going to be? I tried to find the perfect guy, but it just didn't work out. Christian McCaffrey was drafted in 2017, same year as Mahomes, and he's got a 98 overall team of the year. So we're going to go with Christian McCaffrey. And you know what? I've done 2017 all the way up till now. So I'm going to do one more 2017 player. This is also kind of a cheesy strategy, but the best tight end in this game is actually George Kittle. George Kittle was also drafted in 2017. So I'm putting George Kittle at my fullback. The backfield is complete, almost entirely gold 99. So that is amazing. Now we're going to move into our receivers. So wide receivers and tight end, they will come from, I think 2020s would actually be the best decade for this. Because I get all the young guys, but we get 2000s. Hmm. 2000s for wide receivers and tight ends. Well, there's one name that instantly comes to mind for 2000s wide receivers. He also happens to have a gold 99 wide receiver card. One of the best in the game right now, Larry Fitzgerald. Six foot three, 98 speed and 99 damn near everything else. Now I obviously want to go with Megatron, but the dumb thing is the Megatron is only a season reward. I can't buy the gold 99 Megatron off the auction house, so I can't actually use Megatron on this team, which sucks. All right, this may not be the best wide receiver in the game, but I think we got to go with Steve Smith. Steve Smith was amazing in the 2000s. He was drafted in 2001. He's only 94 overall, so he's not going to play like Larry Fitz, but still, he'll be good at the slot. We just got to get another good wide receiver too. And our final wide receiver is going to be Deshaun Jackson. It's honestly crazy how long Deshaun Jackson has played because he was drafted in 2008. 5'10", 98 speed. Not as big as Larry Fitz, but he should be awesome too. So our 2000s wide receivers, Larry Fitzgerald, Deshaun Jackson, and Steve Smith. It's honestly an interesting group, but I'm really glad we have Larry Fitzgerald. One of my favorite tight ends ever. Vernon Davis, 98 overall, was drafted in 2006. I gotta say though, I have a lot of San Francisco 49ers now, so I kind of feel bad. I'll try to keep them off my defense, but wow. Vernon Davis at tight end, that's awesome. And to be totally honest, I do need two tight ends because I always use two tight ends. Antonio Gates was drafted in 2003. So I'm going to grab him as well. There's no rule that says I can't just grab two tight ends. You can't. What are you complaining about over there? Offense is complete. We're a 97 overall on offense, which is amazing. And we've got quite the grab bag here. Our 1990s offensive line, our 2000s receivers, and our 2010s backfield. We did not hit the youngest players, nor did we hit the oldest players. It's a pretty dope lineup. Of course, we still have a defense to build. Let's start with our linebackers. All right, our linebackers will come from... Looks like we're gonna go 2010s again. Maybe. Oh, makes it all the way to... 2000s. All right. Well, we get to start out with a gold 99 because Brian Erlacher was drafted on the dot in the year 2000, which is perfect for us. So we'll take Brian Erlacher. We get to pick up another gold 99 draft card because Chad Greenway was drafted in 2006. Look at that smile. He looks like that UFC guy. Chael Sonnen. Is that how you say his name? That guy is a giga Chad. Either way, Chad Greenway. Let's get it. At left outside linebacker, we can take Terrell Suggs drafted in 2003. And for my second middle linebacker, Ray Lewis was drafted in 1996. His whole prime was in the 2000s. He's on the NFL's all-decade 2000s team. I'm going to cheat a little bit and take Ray Lewis. There's no other good options either, so you get what you get. Nobody's going to be upset about Ray Lewis on the squad. Let's just put it that way. Linebackers are set with two gold 99s, Ray Lewis at a 97 and Terrell Suggs at a 96. Up next is going to be my secondary. That's all three of my corners, strong safety and free safety. Arguably the most important. All right, boys this spin is for the secondary right here no 1940s or 2020s yeah i'm gonna get one right here Ooh, that's actually so good like i know we're only a couple years into the 2020s but madden and the nfl honestly are just a young man's game so there's gonna be so many good players for this we just gotta find them at corner one i'll actually start with tyson campbell who was drafted in the 2021 nfl draft six foot one amazing stats that's a great corner i can also of course pick up the defensive rookie of the year sauce gardner a six foot three insanely fast corner from the 2020s baby younger than me holy shit and for our third and final corner, I'm actually going to go with Tariq Woolen, who is six foot four and has 98 speed. Such a good corner. And honestly, many Seahawks fans thought he should have won defensive rookie of the year. It's a trash take. Sauce definitely earned it, but still, he's a stud. 
Tariq Woolen, Tyson Campbell, Sauce Gardner at corners. Honest to God, I want to go with free safety Trey Lance so bad. It would literally be my, like, fifth San Francisco 49er. He's not going to be a San Francisco 49er. He's going to get traded. I'm going Trey Lap Dance at free safety. You can't stop me. You can't. There's nothing you can do. Trey Lap Dance is, is my fucking free safety. I don't know why he has a free safety card. He might as well switch positions. He might get some reps. And at strong safety, I'm 100% taking Kyle Hamilton. Kyle Hamilton is gigantic. I'm gonna, I have such a tall secondary. This is amazing. Trey Lance is 6'4". Kyle Hamilton 6'4". Tariq Woolen 6'4". Sauce is 6'3". And Campbell, Campbell is my shortest at 6'1". Still rocking a 97 overall. The 2020 squad is in at my secondary. All that's left is the D-line. All right, boys, that just leaves our D-line. Our D-line will be composed. Oh, it's poetic justice. I got the last one. Yes. Yes, sort of. I have no idea how good or bad this is. I don't really know what Madden has for these years. This is basically anyone drafted in 1979 or before. These are the OG players. Mean Joe Green was drafted in 1969, but honestly, if their photo is black and white, you can pretty much assume they belong on my D-line. There's 97 overall Ed Tutal Jones, drafted in 1974. Too tall for a reason. This is a six foot nine left end. Yeah. Exciting card to use. Honestly, he's so good. There's also 90 98 overall Jack Youngblood, drafted in 1971. And our final D tackle will be William Perry. He wasn't quite the 1970s, but we're running out of options here, so we took what we could get. So our D line, 1940s to 1970s Jack Youngblood, Mean Joe Green, William Perry, and Ed Tutal Jones. We're actually a 97 overall. Now, listen, I would do special teams too, but they have so few kickers that it literally would be pointless. I'd pretty much have to get 2010s or 2020s, or it won't be possible. So at kicker, I'm I'm gonna throw in Justin Tucker, and at punter, I'm gonna throw in the Scottish Hammer. Those are my two favorite special teamers. And you know, Dwight Freeney can be our long snapper. Why not? Who says no? I'm gonna set this lineup, get some abilities on our players. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, boys, the abilities are set. Here's what we're doing. Larry Fitz has double me and deep out elite. Mahomes has run and gun, gunslinger, hot route master, and fearless. And Vernon Davis has an X factor that starts the game on. I did not know that. It's yak em up, increased chance to break the first post catch tackle, and it starts the game. On. I don't even have to activate it. It's so cool. And I also gave him deep out of lead. I think Vernon Davis is going to be a menace out there. And defensively, I had a good time on defense. Chad Greenway with edge threat elite crusher inside stuff and unstoppable force. Erlacher with lurker crusher. Sauce with acrobat pick artist shutdown. Trey Lance with shutdown acrobat mid zone KO. Ed Tutel Jones with no outsiders edge threat elite. And Derwin James has pick artist for free. I have him as a backup because it's going to force me to have a backup in there. So I just threw him back there. I know he's really young but I don't think he was 2020s. I think he's 2018, but it's the best I could do. All right, boys, the 97 overalls. So this is a hell of a, this is like almost a god squad. This is one hell of a team. All right, boys, let's go hop into a game, see how we can do. Mahomes, Erlacher, and Fitz. Oh shit, I don't have my lighting on. Whatever, he's got, ooh, Eagles theme team? Maybe an Eagles theme team, whatever. You saw me without the lighting. That's what it looks like when I wake your mom up. A oh, bitch. You gotta take your, you gotta take little Timmy to school. That's why she was late to drop you off at fucking elementary school. Jalen Hurts, Marshall Falk, Jason Kelsey. I don't know. He's got a lot of Eagles, though. Oh, shit. Good run. Second and three. Let's send a blitz. I can't let him run all over me. Erlacher's gonna blow this shit up. Come on. Oh, it's a play action. He'll go half back. He'll go half back. Nope. Damn. I'm just trying to light him up. Let's just play coverage. Two tall Jones in coverage is always nice. Ooh, a little option. Ooh, no way. Jalen is up. Get that fraud. All right, I'm setting a blitz. Let's go get the QB. It's a pass play. Get there. Ooh. <laughs> he almost could have thrown an interception right there. All right, we'll cover again. We'll play coverage again. Nothing aggressive here. Just looking for this post, I think, but it's just not there. He's got a lot of time in the pocket. Hey, no way. You got sacked. Bro, you had like infinite time. Third and 20. I'm sending the blitz now. Go get him. Shit, yes, we got him. William Perry, and he spikes the ball at fourth and 28. Genius! In all my years of Madden, I have never seen a man spike the ball on 4th and 28. Let's start out with a jet sweep to Deshaun Jackson. Come here, you old motherfucker. Let's go! Oh, 
Shit. Ooh. Definitely shoot a hard cut there. I don't know why I didn't. Let's go Mahomes to Vernon Davis. Let's see how open that is. It's not, but I gotta go Larry Fitz here. His user's there. We still pick up three. I'm going Vernon Davis over the top. Right over the middle. Let's go, Vernon. Fuck it. I'm throwing it to him. Get off! Oh, Vernon Davis! Let's go! What a catch! Oh my god! I'm going right back to the jet sweep. I don't think I did to Sean Jackson any justice. Let's give it to him again. Hold those blocks! Oh, what a great play by the user. Oh my god, and he fumbles. He should have been given the opportunity to return that ball. First and 10. I don't want to get hit with like a read option. Ooh. Well, RPO play. Solid play. I have the momentum to see my home team's intended pass target. So I can see his primary wide receiver right as he throws it. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Big hit. Trey Lapdance delivered that hit. Okay. So just probably read option again. Blocked everybody. He's looking for the whip. Ooh, that would have been an interception if he threw it. Three sacks so far. Our D-line and Chad Greenway are moving right now. Second and 17. I'm going same thing here. He has a couple pass. Oh, that would have been an INT. Oh, I was right there with Erlacher. Oh, run play. Trey lap dance is in there. He got five shamrocks ready to stop that one. Fourth and 16. Mm, he's got to go yard. He's got to go yard. Get down there, Tyson. Oh, he missed. All right. I'm going Vernon Davis on a corner route here. I'm going to block McCaffrey. It may end up being the Vernon Davis show. Oh, we got to step up with Mahomes. Oh, oh. I don't know how I threw that ball the way. <laughs> I honestly don't. Let's hand the ball up, bro. We got a solid offensive line. We got McCaffrey, who is just waiting for a handoff. <sighs> Did not go anywhere. I'm sorry, McCaffrey. I won't give up on you, McCaffrey. I won't give up on you. <laughs> I'm going to bring McCaffrey over the middle here, and we're going to give him... Let's give him a rep. There you go, McCaffrey. <sighs> Doesn't fight, though. Now it's fourth and two. A smarter man than I would take his points. Nobody said I was a smart man. I'm going Larry Fitz. You can't stop Larry Fitz. Look at that. Separation immaculate on fourth and one. We're on the one yard line, I'm going no huddle. I might hit Vernon here. Sorry, man. If you're going to use the D tackle and leave that open, I'm going to run right at it. Mahomes punches that one in. We're going to go stretch left. Oh, keep going. Great blocks. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, George Kittle is the best fullback in this game. We has got Antonio Brown as the kick returner. Wow. I can't believe they let him in this game. It's a joke. I know it's not Antonio Brown. Stop typing. Dude, he can't handle the heat. I'm going to send the blitz again. Oh, as I say that. Nope. Cannot handle the heat. Second and 12. I'm blitzing Trey Lapdance. I'm getting an INT with Lapdance. Sack Trey Lance. No, but INT Trey Lance. INT. Oh, fuck. I was so close. I did make the tackle with Trey Lance. Okay, let's play zone so I can actually use him. Okay, pass. He wants this. Ah, uh, I wish. Bop. Big hit from Kyle Hamilton. Nice work. I'm going to switch to a formation where Trey Lance can actually, like, be my user. He's going to attack Trey Lance. Shit. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. Good move. We're just spearing for heads right now. I'm manned up on 87. I think he's blocking 87, so I'm going to go for this. I might give up a touchdown, but I'm going for it. Yep. Get there! Good defense. George Pickens, not today. Well, I'm the best corner in the game. All right, I'm going to go into nickel 3-3 three, three because this actually has Trey Lance as my user. Yeah, it does. All right, and I can still block too tall and just play coverage. Ooh, good ball. Trey Lance. I know that was Kyle Hamilton who broke it up, but we're going to pretend it was Trey Lance. All right, big blitz. We're guessing pass. Flying at the QB. Go! Love dance! Get your ones out, bitch! Play action. Oh, no, that's open. Oh, no! No way. Great tackle. Holy shit. On fourth and 15, he converted that. I'm really scared of this being a run. It's not. Okay. Lap dance. No. Oh my God. That was in your mitts. He's too sweaty. He's too oiled up from, from you know what, baby. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Another pass? Yes. Come on. I'm on everything. I own you. I own you. I know it's a pass. Nothing. Too tall Jones. Screams off the edge. It's fourth and goal. I can guess pass again. What a fucking laser. What a good play. I can't even be mad about that. Oh, with two seconds left on fourth and goal. Dude, this guy is clutch. We do start with ball, though, so we can make this a two-possession game pretty quickly. McCaffrey, I'm not giving up on you, bro. Don't worry. I'm not giving up on you. I'm gonna let you run. I feel like that could have been a better run play if I had played it better. Honestly, I trust that so much. I'm going to do it again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good cut, McCaffrey! And McCaffrey, we trust! Oh, my God! The back! To back! Woo! Just got to believe in the boy. I'm going right at the gut here. Just going to dive over this pile. Ooh, maybe not. Fuck. 
All right, 20 to 7, though. I mean, a quick, quick touchdown. Let's see if we can blow this up. Oh, lap dance, lap dance, lap dance. Ah! Hey, I affected the throw. All right, we're going to drop coverage here. I was so close. I just want an interception with him, man. It'd be so sick. All right, coverage again. The coverage is, is giving him more trouble than anything. Play action. That's going to be open over the top. Oh, nice ball. Can't be mad about it. Nice ball. All right, we're going to guess pass now. We're going to sack him. Oh, don't run the ball right now. Don't throw this, you fraud. Dude, just a... Oh, wait, I can pitch it to, to Lappy Lappy Poo. Yes. Good blocks. Good blocks. Ah, fuck. Solid return. That was a dumb pass. I don't know if you guys watched this video, but in whatever I hit, I buy. I threw this route, the corner post to Larry Fitzgerald, and it was a touchdown. It was a nuke, too. It is not there this time. I don't know why it worked when I did it in that video. Come on, go press Larry Fitz again. Yeah, press Larry Fitz. Huge mistake. Not a huge mistake. Huge mistake! <laughs> Larry Fitz, you're kidding. What a play. I'm gonna go a post on Vernon. Oh, I had him. I fucking had Vernon. Ooh, and he got through the double team. I know what I have to do. I have to throw to McCaffrey. What a pass. Mahomes did his little shovel thing. What about Vernon Davis corner route? Step up, Mahomes. Go, go, go. Mahomes, you dog. You dog. Oh, that's what's going to do it for you. Yo, that was honestly literally one of the best games I've ever played. That was such a sick game. Bro, if every game went like that, I'd play man the rest of my life. Sheesh. All right, boys. Hey, I have to end it off on that. I don't think I topped that game. That was awesome. Hey, I love you, boys. Thanks. Thanks so much as always. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next banger. Peace.